I'm going to explain the supernatural horror movie Hellraiser today. Beware of spoilers. Take care and be cautious. Rich businessman Roland Voigt appears to most people to be a typical middle-aged man, but he actually has a sinister secret. One day, he orders Serena, his assistant, to travel to a remote location and receive a puzzle box. The innocent girl holds the object throughout the day without realizing how hazardous it is. She meets Joey, a prostitute, at Voigt's house party in the evening. Serena asks him to go to the area of the house with the double doors after they have spoken for a while. Her boss has told her to do it, but she is unsure of the reason. Joey makes his way through the mansion's dark crevices until he comes to the room with the double doors and the high ceiling. A platform holding the puzzle is located in the center. Void appears out of nowhere and begs Joey to finish the puzzle so that he can reward him. At this point, the man wants to leave because he finds the situation odd, but he is intimidated into staying. He is taken aback by how easily the puzzle can be solved. When he completes the puzzle, a blade emerges and pierces his palm. Unaware of what is about to happen, an alarmed Joey screams in pain. A portal appears a short while later, and chains shoot out and latch onto Joey's body. Before being torn apart, he screams once more. Voigt just observes the incident while being aware of the puzzle's potential. He addresses Leviathan, the being in charge of hell, while gazing at the portal. Suddenly, the scene shifts to six years later. Living with her brother Matt, his boyfriend Colin, and their roommate Nora is Riley, an addict in recovery. She and her boyfriend, Trevor, are having fun in her room one afternoon. It's awkward because the other residents of the house can hear them in the kitchen. The moment Trevor leaves, Matt starts to doubt his suitability for Riley. He speaks with his sister, and they argue about how controlling he is. Riley visits Trevor's house after the fight and lights up. We learn that she misrepresented her sobriety to her brother. Riley is invited to accompany Trevor to an abandoned home. He recently delivered a box to the residents and is aware that it contains valuable items. Riley concurs and within an hour, the two enter the home. The Q puzzle is inside the box when they finally manage to get their hands on it and open it. Riley takes the puzzle home without realizing the risks it will pose. She later fights with her brother after he discovers that she had lied about being sober. She acts irresponsibly and Matt becomes furious and tells her to leave his home. Riley storms off in a fit of rage, taking the puzzle with her. To escape reality, she goes to a playground and consumes food. She then begins fiddling with the puzzle, unintentionally solving it. A blade erupts but avoids her hand. Riley soon experiences a creepy feeling. As if on cue, a silhouette in the shadows appears as she senses someone watching her. Pinhead is the entity, a demon employee whose task it is to sever the souls of those who solve the puzzle. Riley's hand was missed by the puzzle blade, so he is unable to grab her. Instead, he makes her chest bleed while requesting two more souls in her place. In another location, Matt awakens from a nightmare and regrets yelling at Riley. She is discovered unconscious on the playground after he quickly runs outside to look for her. He cuts himself while holding the box in an attempt to assist her in standing up. He leads Riley to a nearby restroom without realizing that he is now on Pinhead's hit list. Blood starts spilling out of the sink all of a sudden, signaling Pinhead's approach. Riley is startled awake by a loud scream, but when she goes to the bathroom, her brother has already left. She dials 911 in a state of panic, but the situation is difficult for them to solve because Matt completely vanished. Simply asking Riley to file a missing report after being brought home in a panic. The following morning, Riley is asked by Colin where Matt is, but she is unable to respond for fear of coming off as crazy. Colin believes Riley isn't attempting to assist the police as a result of the altercation she had with Matt, and this causes them to argue. 
She storms out and seeks solace from Trevor when the conversation becomes too much. Riley is able to temporarily put her problems aside as they spend time together. But soon after, she begins to experience visions of the demon slaves of Pinhead known as Cenobites. She asks Trevor to assist her in deciphering the puzzle's secret the following morning. Pinhead was holding the puzzle while torturing her last night, so she is certain that his disappearance has something to do with it. Serena, the assistant who was given the puzzle at the start of the movie, is revealed to be the owner of the abandoned house thanks to Trevor's assistance. They discover her in a hospital, on the verge of death from a lung condition. The couple is instructed by Serena to leave Matt behind and leave the puzzle with her. She also tells them about Voight, her billionaire boss, who was killed as a result of his puzzle-obsessed death. Riley tries repeatedly to explain the puzzle to Serena, but she rejects him. Instead, she cuts herself trying to snatch the puzzle from her hand. Serena admits her fate but maintains that she brought it on herself. She later encounters Cenobites in her room who follow her throughout the medical facility and ultimately lead her to her demise. When Riley gets home, she searches the internet for Void's name and discovers reports about him as a collector of occult artifacts. She also discovers that, prior to his own disappearance six years ago, he was connected to a number of enigmatic disappearances. Riley wants to visit Void's final mansion to look into it all because she is aware of how it all relates to the puzzle. As a result of his fear of being taken away like Matt in Serena, Trevor no longer wants to support her. Riley therefore makes her own way to the mansion. She enters forcefully and finds the place unsettling right away. It has enormous metal gates that appear to have been built to guard against something dangerous. Riley eventually makes it to Voight's study room, where she finds the solutions to her questions. There are numerous images of pinheads and cenobites in it. Riley also comes into possession of a diary that details the unique skin coloring and mutilations that the Cenobites apply to each human they capture. She discovers the puzzle has six different forms, and based on which form you solve it into, the afterlife entities will torture you. It appears that Voight was attempting to solve the puzzle in an effort to achieve some sick form of immortality. Riley hears a whisper of her name after reading for hours. When she turns to look, she discovers Matt in the hallways. She rushes to give him a bear hug, but is horrified to see that his back has been skinned. Colin, Trevor, and Nora, who have come to help her, catch her as she flees in shock. Riley talks to Colin about what she's learned over the last few hours as Nora and Trevor wait outside. She asserts that the God of Hell will grant her a wish if she completes the puzzle in its sixth and final form. She is able to make requests for love, life, wisdom, strength, and even rebirth. She has one final strategy in mind to win Matt back. Riley is aggravated by Colin's belief that she is insane. She finds that she has lost the puzzle in the mansion when she goes to show it to him. The old mechanical setting of the house has locked Nora inside a room outside. Someone in the same room as her is working on the puzzle as Trevor tries to get her out. The individual stabs Nora with it before chasing her from the room. Nora is terrified and remains on the ground, not realizing that because the puzzle injured her, her end is imminent. Riley picks up the puzzle and catches up to Colin and Trevor as they drag her outside. We learn that Voight is the man in the walls after they have left. The group drives Nora to their van from outside the mansion. They are attempting to drive out of the mansion when they become disoriented by an unexpected force. They are driving in panic when the puzzle begins to move, terrifying them. The trio is driving in fear and is unsure of the right route because they are unaware that the Cenobites have begun carrying out their execution. On the other hand, Nora ends up being captured by the Cenobites, where she is ultimately killed by Pinhead. Riley understands the situation after spotting Pinhead in the mirror. As a result, their van collides and when they emerge, Nora is nowhere to be found. 
Riley encounters Pinhead on the way back, who offers Matt's resurrection in exchange for two more sacrifices, but she rejects him. Riley gets stabbed while momentarily caught up in the conversation, leaving him marked. Then Pinhead demands that she choose between giving her own life and two other sacrifices. A Cenobite pursues the group, but they manage to return to the mansion. Colin loses track of the other two and collapses out of fear for what is in front of him. The Cenobites, however, depart for Riley, who is now marked. The Cenobi injures Trevor in the process, but Riley, unable to sacrifice any of the other two, solves the riddle and stabs the Cenobite, who dies as a result. The three return to the mansion at last, but their safety is still in jeopardy as numerous Cenobites are moving closer to them. Riley quickly locks the metal doors after realizing that the Cenobites cannot enter the entire mansion because of the framework design. Colin and Riley set out on their own to find a solution, leaving a hurt Trevor to rest. Now resting by himself, Trevor receives a visitor who turns out to be Voight. It is also revealed that Trevor was Voight's lackey and had been looking for Riley and other people to sacrifice to the box. The metallic noise reveals a device fastened to Voight that twists and hurts him. He then applies pressure to Trevor's wounds and commands him to expedite the process and make sacrifices in order to receive his reward because he is running out of patience. Riley and Colin move Trevor to operate the switch in order to trap a Cenobite. Riley then offers herself to Pinhead while secretly using her as bait to attract and capture a Cenobite. They successfully capture one, but sadly Riley misplaces the artifact in the process. Colin tries to find it while everyone is on different sides of the metal cage, but is unsuccessful because Void is quicker and stabs Colin right away. Riley tells Trevor about Void, who is shocked to know about it, but Trevor is not bothered by it. Riley then finds out about everything Trevor did for Voight, including his time spent with her with the intention of sacrificing her. She also finds out that Voight was given a wish by the God of Hell six years ago when he cracked the sixth puzzle. He obtained the device that was fastened to his body because he desired a novel form of pleasure. She discovers at this point that any reward offered by the Cenobites is actually pain. The portal opens for yet another sacrifice as the puzzle rearranges itself as usual, and at Voight's command, Trevor unlocks the gates to let the Cenobites inside. Colin is urged to flee by Riley, but when he does, he is pursued by Cenobites. Voight seizes the chance to lock the gates, trapping the Cenobites, and demand that Leviathan release him from the gift. Riley takes the box, opens the door, and goes looking for Colin after Voight fails to control him, just as Leviathan appears in the sky. Now that the situation is reversed, Voight falls to his knees and begs Pinhead to let him die so he won't have to endure any more pain. Colin screams in agony as he is trapped and on the verge of being dismembered. When Riley arrives, she makes another sacrifice for the Cenotaph in Colin's place. Voight originally sent Trevor to stop Colin from escaping, and Riley goes to him and stabs him. The Cenobi immediately releases Colin and kidnaps Trevor, who is immediately dismembered. Colin is successfully delivered from the torture thanks to Riley. Voight, meanwhile, is requesting things other than the present from Pinhead. She tells him that there is no gift that can be taken back in keeping with her principles, she then admits that they were mistaken about him, that he never sought sensation, and that everything he did for pleasure was done for power. She then tells him that exchange was possible. Voight makes the decision to immediately trade his gift for power. Pinhead then takes a backseat and allows Leviathan to provide for his ultimate deliverance. Without a doubt, the metal device comes off his body and his injuries mend. However, it does not last long as a heavy chain bursts through the ceiling, pierces him, and lifts him away. The situation calms down decisively, and Riley visits the Cenobites, who give her a reward for making all the sacrifices. They offer to revive her brother Matt when he calls, 
but she declines because she already knows how twisted everything is thanks to Voight. She admits to them that she is okay with his passing. The Cenobites inform her that by deciding to live with the regret over all the sacrifices she made, she has chosen lamentation as a gift. She drops the artifact to the ground, where it reconfigures itself when the Cenobites vanish. When Riley and Colin get back to the van, Coin asks Riley if she made the right choice, but Riley doesn't respond. Void awakens in the final scene naked, hairless, and in a tight spot. After being brutally changed into a Cenobite, he is given the gift of power that he had been longing for.